Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala rasulihi al-kareem wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam wa taslim al-kathira. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la shirika la. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa basulu wa ba'd. هذه الدورة العلمية في لامية الشيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى ونسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن ينفعنا بها أنه جواد كريم أنه على كل شيء قدير This seminar will be about the poetry that Imam Ibn Taymiyyah he wrote called Al-Lamiyyah and it is, it is something that many of the ulama they have uh, explained for many years and we all have uh, got great benefit from this very small monadam that the Shaykh wrote Rahimahullah Ta'ala and this is one of the styles of our Salaf they used to write in the regular form just as anyone would uh, compile a work then others at other times they would write in a poetic form this one happens to be in the poetic form and thus is called Al-Lamiyah. The reason this uh, poetry, the scholars they mention is called Al-Lamiyah as you have Nununiyah and uh, Mamimiyah. You have uh, these poetries that have this title because the last letter of every line of poetry <coughs> normally will would end with that letter. So like this one, the last letter of every poetry, uh, line of poetry, ends with the lamb in the Arabic language. The lamb is a letter, just as we have L in English, the lamb is a letter. So therefore, because it's a, the letter of every um, last statement in every line of the 16 lines of poetry, it's been given the name al And um there's also a Lamiya of Shaykh al-Islam al-Thani who is ma'roof by Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya, talking about uh, the creed of the Sufiya and some shubhat, some misconceptions and false teachings of the Sufiya. There's also Nuniya of uh, uh, al uh, There's also yani, uh, Nuniya Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya explaining and describing from the Quran and Sunnah what the paradise is like and who are the people of paradise. So, this is a common practice of our Salaf, our pious predecessors, that they were right in this fashion. Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah in his last year in the prison, as he was in prison many times. يقولون لما في عام سبعة مية سبعة وعشرين سجنوا رحمه الله تعالى وجاء إليه وجاء إليه الساجن بسؤال عن ما هو عقيدته ومذهبه شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية فصار من هذا السؤال العظيم نفع كثير وحتى أنه يصل إلى بين يدينا في هذا يوم يوم المبارك The Sheikh was in prison 
during the 727th year after the Hijra. Just one of his many times and his last time for being imprisoned. And the prison guard, if you will, came and asked him, uh, based upon a bunch of writings from some of the scholars of that time, from the different areas and from the other different um, groups of the Muslims. And um, this particular um, time they gathered all of these different aqa'it, all of these different beliefs and statements, and they gave it to him. And he didn't have uh, any books, any references, or anything. And they say he wrote, replying to these uh, false concepts and different beliefs of these different uh, groups, what's called Tisiniya. Tisiniya. 1990. Uh, 9090 Tisin is 90. So Tisinia, 90 different points around what they mentioned about Allah, what they mentioned about the Messenger, what they mentioned about the Paradise, what they mentioned about anything concerning Islam. So, likewise, this one he wrote as a reply. Sixteen lines of poetry that the Sheikh he wrote in order to answer the question of the one who came and asked him, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. Well, Sheikh Al-Islam Taymiyyah, as we know, he was born uh, in the same city as our Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. And that young scholar being raised as a boy, he was upon the madhab of Imam al-Shafi'i, rahimahullah. Meaning that he learned the application and the views of Imam al-Shafi'i and those that were the followers or those that related or linked themselves to his teaching after his death, rahimahullah. And from amongst his teachers was Imam al nawi Imam Abi Zakaria Yahya ibn Sharaf, who was famously known for his Yani real the Salihin, gardens of the righteous, that which many of the scholars say no Muslim should be without a house except he has that in his house. And not on the shelf collecting dust or on the table looking pretty dusted, but to read and to benefit from the different chapters and to apply, as it is called, the gardens of the righteous, the different things that will lead the righteous to the garden of al Tabaraku wa ta'ala. Then he became a person who learned the Hanbali Matha. And this in itself is the point of contention we should pay attention to. This shows that Makana Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah, Yani Muqallid Wala, Yani Taqli, Li Matha Ma'ayyan. Bel, Yani Sadra Ila Nusus, Wa Ila Makana Min Kitabillah, Wa Min Sunnati Rasulullah Sallam, Ala Mathaba. This is a clear indication, the fact that he began as a person upon the fiqh of Imam al-Shafi'i's madhab. Then he changed to, yani, learned the Hanbali madhab. And in the end, he became from the people of Ahl al-Hadith. What is this term, Ahl al-Hadith? This means that, yani, you take your fiqh, what you understand directly from the Hadith of the Prophet Sallam, and you include in that what Abdullah ibn Abbas understood about that verse, for example. What Ibn Mas'ud understood about that verse, for example. What was reported by Mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha about the verse. What did Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, say about the verse. And the likes of the other Sahaba, such as Abu Huraira and Abi Sayyid al Qudri. Ibn Umar and the likes of those that were known to be from the fuqaha, the ulama, the scholars of the companions. The Sheikh he died upon the way of a Salaf al Salih, meaning that his way was that of the Quran, the Sunnah, and the way of the Sahaba. 
and he would not stick to any particular method or teaching, which there's a misconception, by the way. Many people think that to follow a method is innovation. Many of the brothers have said this. Is it innovation to follow a method? Yani, just as we say for the person who is in college, everyone can relate. He's in college, he wants to take uh, biology, or he wants to take physics. Now, there may be three or four different teachers that teach that subject. There may be uh, five different teachers that teach that subject. So a person wouldn't go take all five teachers, all three teachers, however many teachers that teach that subject and learn from each one of them. Rather, he would teach, uh, rather, he would learn, pardon me, from whichever teacher that he felt was competent and he understood and that um, he chose. But each one of those teachers would have their own teaching style. Each one of them may bring some extra benefit outside the curriculum. So this is an example of a glimpse of what is, when you say the madahib, the, 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 the way or the teachings of the four great imams that yani, they learn, yani, the same book, the same sunnah. But they develop certain guidelines, certain kawaid, certain yani, uh, 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 rules and principles that they thought would help safeguard the people from changing and playing with the religion. And all of them, they have mentioned, yani, kama bayani Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala, innani ma'adha qala innama ana bashirun, usibu. Uh, he said, indeed, I'm a human being, which by default means sometime you're going to be right, sometime you're going to be wrong. And then he mentioned, uh, So look at what I have to say of my view that I bring. Then whatever is in line with the book of Allah and the Sunnah, I mean the Quran and the statement of our Messenger, then take it. فَمَنْ لَمْ يُوَافِقْ بِكِتَابِ وَسُنَّةِ فَتْرُكُوهُ Then whatever does it, then you discard it, you leave it. هَذَا قُولْ إِمَمْ مَالِ وَقُدْ قَالَ إِمَمَ الشَّافِئِ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مَاذَا إِجْمَعُ وَلَمَاءُ عَلَى مَنْ اسْتَبَنَّ لَهُ سُنَّةِ Sunnah uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La yuhillu lahu an yadda'a qawlahu li qawlan akr or kama qal That whoever is made clear to him a practice or a saying or an approved thing from the messenger and The scholars have agreed upon that it's not proper or permissible for a person to leave that Which has been conveyed to him as such for someone else's statement. Imam, Mada Abi Hanifa, Nurman ibn Bashir, La Hillo Li Ahadin, and Takhut min Kaulina, Malam, Malam Ta'lam, Aina Akhath Nahu. He said it is not permissible for any individual to take from our statements, meaning the people of knowledge, to take from the statements of the four Imams. And those before after them, until he knows, unless he knows, what's the origin of our statement? Where did we take it from? Did we take it from the philosophers? Did we take it from something that we understand from our intellect? Did we take it from the the Jews and Christians? Or did we take it from the book of Allah and the sunnah of his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? وَقَدْ قَالَ Imam Ahmad, رَحِمُهُ اللَّهِ وسائر من هؤلاء إما إذا صح حديث فهو مذهبي إذا صح حديث فهو مذهبي. If you find an authentic uh, narration, if you find a hadith that is verified on the authority of the Messenger of Allah, then know that this is my way. Meaning that if I taught you something that you found contradictory. Later on to an authentic hadith, then apply that authentic hadith. Replace my statement with that authentic hadith, for verily, had it reached me, it would have been my way. So this is, yani, when we talk about uh, madha, the madahib, 
or those from the four great imams other than them. Thus, this is the way that we found Shaykh al-Islam Tifmiya, yani practicing that way of those who came before him. As you will find in the poetry, it will say, Haqqa kama naqala tiwawaza awwalu wa fasra al-ulama haulai as-salaf ladi kana min qabl yani Shaykh al-Islam Tifmiya that this refers to the people of knowledge before him that stuck to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messengers of the Salaam. There's two more misconceptions I want to mention about Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah and we'll go into the poetry, inshallah, tabarakul wa ta'ala. Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah was accused of coming down the minbar, the platform that the Muslim preaches from in the masjid. He was accused of descending and saying that Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala, He descends like this. This is a well-known statement in some of the books attributed to Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And it was mentioned by a name by the name of Bishr Marisi. Bishr Marisi. Who was a, a known deviant. A man who knowingly and clearly had a belief other than what Allah Tababaku wa ta'ala sent down and the companions along with the Messenger of Salaam. And so he accused Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah of this so that the people would turn away from his teachings. And he mentioned that he entered the Masjid in Sha'aban in the 727th year and found Ibn Taymiyyah preaching the ayah that Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala comes down and then he mentioned like this. But we understand that when he entered Damascus during that time of Sha'aban in the year of 727 after the Hijrah Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah was already imprisoned. He was already imprisoned from the Qirda, the 20th of the Qirda, which is the month after the Eid of Fitr, after Ramadan fasting, then Shawal, then the Qirda. How could he be in prison, the 20th of the Qirda, in the same year, and someone witness him coming down the minbar saying something that's against the book and the Sunnah of the Masjid of Salam? So the dates are very important when you talk about uh, tarikh, history, and the narrations um, of our pious predecessors, like in this case. And <clears throat> lastly, Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah, he was a muhaqqaq, as the world they bear witness, that we're benefiting from his works right now, Al-Tababaku wa ta'ala yani, gave him that victory that after his life, even those who are the uh, opposition, the opponents, they look to his books to see what he have to say about what we believe or what he has to say about this misconception because he was from amongst those and we say muhaqqaq, that means not that a person looks into the issue and he speaks. That's easy. To look into an issue, to look at an ayah, to look at a hadith, and to start running your mouth or make some type of um, synopsis. But that he would gather all of the evidence, everything surrounded around the issue. Then he would yani, make a judgment on that which was predominantly correct. And this is something that not many of the people of knowledge not many of the people Allah has blessed to do. Thus, Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah, the world benefits from his works. After him, there's nobody from the students, there's nobody from the shuyukh, there's nobody from the ulama except they read the books of Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah because Allah blessed him in that regard to be someone who actualized the issues of the religion by research and gathering all of the issues and 
um, putting them in their proper places, alhamdulillah. So as the poetry uh, was asked of the Sheikh, the first line of the poetry, <coughs> the person he asked Sheikh was not Timiyah, Yasa Ali an Methabi wa Aqidati. Ruzika man lil hidayati and Ruzika Ruzika liman Ruzika huda man lil hidayati yes alu. Isma kalamu mahakakin fi kawlihi. La yantani anhu wala yatabadalu. In the beginning, this shows the permissibility. La bas. يعني أن تسأل واحد عن عقيدته مثابه لا بس this shows in the beginning there is no problem if you ask a person what you believe or you know what your practice of the religion some people they take this offensive Allah most time maybe we come, we'll become belligerent you know violent يعني with the tongue or maybe the hands if you question and the Prophet Sallam we found يعني Allah Tabarakul wa ta'ala telling him, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلِ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask those Jews from amongst you in Medina about the religion because they had the Torah before you. And they're from amongst them that know the book. So ask them, O oh Muhammad, if you don't know. And I will apply this today to us and as it relates to the Muslims. And the Prophet ﷺ, he asked the Jaria in the Hadith of Muawiyah, when she uh, let one of the sheep uh, loose and he became upset and he يعني, uh, في وجهها, uh, he smacked her then he felt bad he went to the messenger and he told the messenger and the prophet sent for her and he said Ain Allah and she said يعني, في السماء. ثم قال, ومن أنا? Who am I? and she said أنت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم then he said, Ittaqaha, Venha Mu'mina, free her, emancipate her, as the uh, 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 issue of smacking a believing uh, servant, a young uh, girl as a servant or a slave, then one of the yeah, any ways to get that sin off is to free them, give them their freedom. We learn from this a number of things. One, that fi in the Arabic language, laysa bi ma'na dhrufiyan, laysa bi ma'na dhrufiyan faqat. It does not mean that something is contained in something only. As if you say, Ahmadu fil masjidi. Fi here means that Ahmad is inside the masjid, huwa dakhil, he's in the masjid. Wa kadalik, huna qala fi sama'i. And many of the people from the groups, they say, yani, this is not acceptable, this narration, because the narration is mentioned in other wordings. He said this in one place, in another place he said that. But we understand yani, that this is collected, this hadith, by more than one narration, and that is authentic in the Bukhari Muslim, that the Prophet asked her, where is Allah? And she said, "Fisama." We also talk. Barakahu wa Taala said, "Wasiru fil aw, nam, fandru, kafe kana aqibat ladina min qabliku." Yani huna fi laysa bi mana yani dakhil fil aw kal turab wa kadalik yani al al asha ukhra yani al la. It doesn't mean like the dirt inside the earth and the other things, the minerals and insects. No. Huna fi bi ma'na isti'la'u. Isti'la'u. Yani something that's superior, something that's above. So when she said to the answer or the question of the messenger, where is Allah? She said, Fis sama'i, ayi, Allah tabaraku wa ta'alu wen. Fok the sama'i wa fok kulli shay. Hata. Aushihi Ladib subhanahu wa ta'ala, including his great magnificent throne. So here, he asked the Shaykh an yani methadi wa aqidati. So the Shaykh he answered him. Many of the ulama they say that this is a dua. 
that he made. He said, Ruzicha, who that? Ruzicha, who that? Man, Ruzicha, who that? Man, lil hidayati, yes, alu. Here, there's a mistake that people they make when you talk about Allah Tabaraku wa Ta'ala. And this shows that if something this small is to be big religiously, if something this minute is to be magnified as it relates to uh, respecting Allah, as it, respects, as it relates to making Allah different from His creation at all times, then, then what about the sifat of Allah, the actions and the descriptions of Allah, of course, then they have to be kept different from His creation. Even if you share, like Allah Azza wa Jalla's Ar Rahim, wa wusif al Nabi Yusuf Sallam bi anhu bil mu'minin mada, wa fur Rahim. Even if you share something with the same name that Allah has, it is not a mitha. It is not a mitha al fiha. There's no يعني, likeness, although you have a name and Allah has a name. If there are five Ahmeds in this room, one of them is tall, another one is short. One of them, يعني, Allah most on, يعني, <laughs> Sameen, يعني, one of them fat, one skinny. One of them يعني, is African, one is Arab, one is white, one is Spanish, one is uh, 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 Korean. يعني, ain't the mithal fi him illa bi asma'ihim. Where is the resemblance except they all share the same name? And if this is in the creation of Allah, then what about Allah and His creation? So here, the point, Ruzika al-Huda. The ulama of Nahu, they say Ruzika, 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 yani al-Mabni lil-Majhul. Mabni lil-Majhul. This is a grammatical point of Arabic. Then they say Huda, Na'ib hanil fa'il. So how can you say Ruzika when you're talking about Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who's going to give you? This is what Ruzika means. Allah is going to enrich you. And this is a dua that he's making for the one who's asking. How can you say grammatically, Yani Mebni lil majhul? Allahu a majhul? A'udhu billah. Kufr. Allah is known. وَلِلَّهِ أَسْمَاءِ الْحُسْنَى مَاذَا فَدُوا بِهَا نعم and to Allah has the most excellent of names thus calling him by those names so this shows Allah is known نعم وَكَذَلِكَ نَعِبْ عَنْ فَائِمْ يعني نَعِبْ عَنْ فَائِمْ this is shirk Allah has يعني constituents and he has someone like a secretary or wazir Allah وَحْدُهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَا يَعْنِي فِي مَاذَا فِي إِبَادَتِهِ وَكَذَالِ فِي الْمُلْكِهِ عَزَّ وَجِهِ He's alone in what he owns and in the servitude to him عَزَّ وَجِهِ So this is a very important point in the Arabic language رُزِقَ الْهُدَى مَنْ لِلْهِدَايَةِ يَسْأَلُ رُزِقَ يعني is a very serious dua because here he's talking about the ilm لَيْسَ بِمَعْنَى تَعَمْ وَشَرَابْ لَنَا اللَّهُ سُبْحَانُهُ وَتَعَالَى هُوَ الَّذِي رُعْتِنَا جَمِيعًا تَعَامُ وَشَرَابُ حَتَّى الْحَيَوَانِ Because Allah gives all of us food and drink, even the animals. So Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah is not talking about when he says رُزِقَى يعني Here, that Allah gives you risk. As some people think risk, that the provision is only food and drink. Food and drink. Food and drink, riches, and wild. But here, one of the greatest types of risk is al ilm. كما بيّن الشيخ الإسلام تيمية يعني الرزق يعني ماذا الرزق كله ما ينفع به البدن. Risk is everything. Provision is everything that the body benefits from. So likewise, the Islam acknowledges something you benefit from. So he made dua, Ruzika, Huda, Man lil Hidayati, yes, Alu. May Allah give this yani, uh, knowledge to this person that he's seeking. Showing that you have to seek knowledge. Knowledge is not going to just come to you, you have to seek it. 
يعني يسألوا يسألوا يعني to ask to seek نعم ثم قال شيخ الإسلام تيمية اسمع كلام اسمع كلام محقق في قوله لا ينثنى عنه ولا يتبدل اسمع في الأمر this is a command form in the Arabic language وأنتم تعلمون هذا all of you know this like you say إجلس يا ولد it's probably the favorite thing they know <laughs> sit down old young boy يعني كذلك اشرب drink cool eat Uskut, be quiet. Nah, command forms. Here, Hashi Yosna Taymiyyah, Isma Kalam. Isma Kalam, Muhaqqaqin. Isma Kalam, Muhaqqaqin. The ulama that said this Isma here, less of the majority of the Udhan. Well, the fuck bena, Sama'a, wa Istima'a. The ulama that say here, Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah is not telling him the mere listening by the ear. Because there's a difference between yani, uh, sama, yani, hearing something and istima'a, trying to listen. And yani, we know like in the grocery store and where we, where we travel, the airport, music is everywhere. Bismillah. You may hear something that you like or dislike. You may hear something that is haram. But if you're in the store or the hospital or the airport and it's all over the uh, speaker system, then are you held accountable for that, Yani, um, to begin with? Are you held accountable? Aslan, halalena shay'an idha kana masmu'a fi kulli makan? La. La idha kana wahid istama'a Yani he's trying to hear because it catches his ear. He remembers that. Now he's rocking his head. Do, 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 do. This is different from something just coming across your ears and you don't really pay attention to it. So when the Sheikh he says, Isma Kalam, he's telling him, Yani istima'a bil udhni wal qal. Yani with the ear and the heart. As Prophet mentioned, Yani ansitu. Wallah Azza wa Jalla kul ansitu. With the Quran, the Quran, fastimir Allah, wa ansitu Allah kum mada to hamun. When the Quran is being recited, yani listen, but the other part is with the heart. That means you have to pay attention. I have the intention to take in what you understand from it, so that you can ponder upon it, you can benefit from it. So this the Sheikh is telling this man who asked the question in the first place, Isma Kalam Mahakakin Fikolihi. Mahakakin Dolama de say Laysa Mimbab Thana Allah Nefsi. Oh Yani Mada Ataskiya. This is not what Sheikh Islam Taymiyyah is intending by telling him listen to the speech of the one Muhakak, meaning listen to the speech of the one. Who gathered everything about these issues? He knows it well. He covered it from front to back, and then he gave a conclusion. He's not bragging. They said, but rather he's doing this to make the one who's asking and he's the listener confident in what he's about to take, and to incite him to pay attention closely. Because for, remember the beginning, he said, "Ruzi Huda. He wants Allah to give him really huda. And the huda is of two types. Yani al irshad. Allah showing you the way to something. And then you being guided upon that thing. Yani al huda. And then madha. Tawqifiyya. That means you continuously benefit from what Allah gave you. So he wants that for that person. If that person is sincerely. When he um, asked Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah about the aqidah and the methodology. Also, a point I forgot. Barakallahu feekum. Mada. The ulama they mention. Qawli ibn Taymiyyah. Yani. An mathabi wa aqidati. Lays bi ma'na anna aqidah. Aqidatuhu. Wa anna mathab mathabahu. La. Does it mean that the aqidah 
what he's about to tell this man in the reply is his aqidah. That it's yani, it's nad ilayhi. It's tied to something from him. Or something that he made up. Nah. Laysa mithlu yani al-khawarij. Sammahum khawarij ala aqidatuhum. Wa ala madhabahum. Naam. Laannahum mtazala. لأنهم اتزلوا عن المسلمين عن الصحابة. They withdrew from the الصحابة. خرج منهم في حد يعني المدينة. They went to the outskirts of Al Madin, getting away from them. So they took the name يعني خوارج. وهكذا يعني خرج على أمير المؤمنين هو علي بن أبي طالب وأصحابه. Rasulullah sallam and they revolted against the leader Ali ibn Abi Talib wa za'ama man waqa'a fil kabar min al-dunub khulud fil nar they also they have the belief that whoever falls into a major sin he will be in the fire forever kharuj an kitab Allah خروج عن سنة رسول الله خروج عما قال أصحاب الرسول They went outside of Allah's book the messenger and the companions Thus يعني they have been given the name خوارج because of what they believe وهكذا بابك الله فيكم ماذا القدرية Those who زعم عن الله عز وجل لا يعلموا أفعال خلائقه أفعال خلائقه حتى يسبق أو حتى يفعل شيئا ثم علم الله تبارك وتعالى. Those who say Allah does not know the actions of His creation. What the other Allah? That Allah is ignorant or unaware of what we're going to do until it takes place or until we we do that thing. Then Allah He knows. قدريا. وزعم الله تبارك وتعالى لا يعني لا يعلم القدر هنا 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 قالوا ذلك and they also by that same thing they claim and believe that Allah does not know يعني and has not decreed past things وكذلك ألا ماذا الجبرية الذين يتقدون أن الله سبحانه وتعالى يجبرنا على المعاصي and those from the جبرية they say Allah has has decreed everything right then that means he's compelled us to do wrong. Therefore, يعني Allah inkar ماذا الميزان وإنكار ماذا الصراط وإنكار وإنكار وإنكار. Therefore, they disbelieve, they disapprove of the scales to weigh the deeds. Therefore, they disapprove of the uh, uh, the going across the the path, the sirat. Allah musta. So when he says. يعني مذهبي وعقيدتي يعني he means the belief the creed of أهل السنة the people that were from the companions of the Messenger Sallam along with the Prophet Sallam and those that held to that after them also from the things I forgot before we go beyond um, the last part we stop some people they think this word عقيدة in itself is not from Islam and that we shouldn't use it there are some today that says the term aqidah yani should not be used wa anna hadhihi yani ibara bid'iyya and this is a, 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 a new thing in innovation bay Allah tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabihi karim madha la yaakhidhukum Allah باللقو في أيمانكم ولكن ولكن يأخذكم بما أعقدتم أيمان نعم أعقدتم أعقد يتقدوا أعقدتم نعم سبحان الله تعالى say when I hold you accountable for what you make of an oath you promise to do something you claim you're going to do something but rather he's going to hold you accountable for the things that you say and you really you hold that thing in your heart to be true. And use the word aqattum. Wa qad dhakra nabiyyu sallam fi hadithin akhrajuhu al-darami 
قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يتقد قلب مسلم ثلاثة إلا إلا ماذا إلا يدخل جنة أو كما قال there are three things that the heart of the believer يعني he will not يعتقد have in his heart رطبة يعني يعني tied to his heart except that it will lead him to the paradise or as Prophet Sallam he mentioned so this يعني is not something that is an innovation or something that people are using that has no base in the Quran and Sunnah will say aqeedah like this now what, what do you mean by this what you are saying is having your heart will take you in the paradise barakallahu feekum yani everyone and then inshallah we'll try to save the question and answers until, until after because it will be too much problem but la bas yani everyone has to have his heart tied to something The good people tie their heart to something. The bad people tie their heart to something. Meaning, you feel that thing in your heart. As the ulama they mentioned, الأصل قلام في يعني ماذا قل ثم ال يصدقون بها يعني يصدقون به اللسان. They said the origin of speech is in the heart. The tongue only confirms. And we say that like when someone gets mad and. He says this or she says that. He said, yeah, that's what he really means. It just came out now, but really, that's not a mistake because that's really in his heart. So here, if Salaam is saying there are three things that the believer, if, if his heart believes it, it will lead him to the Jannah. The first one, يعني Allah نعبد إلى الله That we shouldn't worship anyone except Allah. The second was shirk. That we stay away from the shirk. You have to believe that. And يعني, the third one, and that we hold to the book of Allah or as the Prophet said if you have those three things tied in your heart it will be from those that will enter the Jannah now of course this shows action to go along with you can't just believe that as any time the scholars say mention to say something or uh, we say say something Inclusively, it means also believing. Because if not, then that means we're like the munafiqeen who say something, but the heart has nothing to do with it. So when Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Do you think Allah just means to say it and that's it? No, it means believe that Allah is ahad while you say it. Because if not, then you're like the munafiqeen, those who say something on their tongue, مَا لَيْسَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ That which is not in their heart. Wallah mustaq. Tayyip. So the Shaykh he mentioned uh, to this uh, person asked the question, Yasa'ali an aqidati wa math an madhhabi wa aqidati. Or the one who asked about my methodology, my way, this is general. How you are with your family, how you are with the neighbors, how you are with the Jews and Christians, um, how you are when 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 um, when someone comes to you for question and answer, how are you to the poor, um, How do you uh, uh, make the salat at night? Do you make 11 raka'ah? Do you make 13? How do you make wudu? Uh, how do you do transaction? This is general. Metha. Your way. Application. Aqida, akhas. Then what you believe in your heart yani, is more particular. Where is Allah? How you believe about Allah? The angels. What type of angels? Those that Allah named, those that Allah didn't name, does, does angels come down at, at Asr and Fajr and they never go back in that house? How many does Allah have? Or are they innumerable? How they look? Or, 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 do, or, or, or are they from the um, um, jinn or the jinn from fallen angels? The books, everything that we talk about technically like this falls under yani aqidah. Have to believe the same as iman. Iman and aqidah interchangeable. When you have Iman, you have Aqid. When you have Aqid, you have Iman like this. Then he mentioned yani, to the man, Mada Rusika, Huda Man Lil Hidayah to Yes Alu. And may Allah enrich and give to the one who's seeking knowledge that which he's seeking, that which he saw of the knowledge. Then he said, Isma Kalam Hakim fi qawlihi. So listen and pay close attention carefully. To the speech of the one who knows what he's talking about for surety. 
He has that in his speech, confidence and rightness in his speech. Why? Because he's going back to what Allah said. He's going back to what the messenger said. And they don't lie, Allah, and his messenger. I will never change under pressure, under calamity. Neither will I substitute that which is from this way of Allah and his message. We know that many people in the time of adversity, yani they change. And we know that um, this has happened even the time of the Prophet wasallam, where some people they left Islam and they were from the companion. Companion doesn't mean he is an angel. He's a human. People either go one or two ways with companions. They go extreme or yani mada, yani they go yani to the level of insult and, 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 and diminishing them. Companion is the next part that's going to talk about belief in the companions. Companions, normally they say one who Lucky and Nabi, Lucky and Nabi, he met the Prophet. And the Ulama said, Hada, Ahsan, and Tukul, Yani, Rao Nabi, Salam. This is better, Yani, to say who met the Prophet rather than seeing the Prophet. Because, like, Yani, Um, Ibn, uh, what's his name? The Mu'addin? Like, Babaka Lafik, Nam, Abbasa Watawalla, Amma, Yani, Abbasa Watawalla, Nam, Anja, Nam. This Mu'adhi, he was blind. But he still met the Prophet. So if you say, the one who's seen the Prophet, then it's Jews seen the Prophet. But they didn't accept this lie. Yani, and yani, other people seen the Prophet, pagans. So it said, the one who met the Prophet, وسلم, he met the Prophet. Tayyip, the first condition, when you talk about Sahaba. Yani, then, yani, he believed in him. And they believe in this message. And he died upon that Islam, then he's Sahab. So the point here is that some people, yani, because of pressures and, 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 and doubts, some of them, yani, a few of them in the history were Sahaba. They left Islam and they came back. And Ibn Hajar al-Sqalani, he said, this doesn't harm them from being written down in the books of history of companions because for them, they actually met the Prophet twice, accepted Islam twice, and they died upon Islam. Now, so the one who, and in adversity, he can change. And this is an issue no one should say, I will never change, I'm strong. You don't know. And if somebody change, you say, Allah musta'an. You know, we seek Allah's help. Like we say, may God help us. Because you don't know. But Shaykh Islam Taymiyyah, because the level of knowledge that he had, as he told him, Isma Kalam Muhaqqaqin. And I listen to the one who's going to speak, and he knows what he's talking about. The proof of that, he said, La yantani anhu wa la And he died in prison defending this religion. He died in prison in a happy state, defending and staying on what he said, not turning away, neither substituting the religion. And we know that the Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned and warned against uh, those who substitute the religion uh, in his lifetime a lot. When he talked about and, 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 and bringing something, there was no bid'ah during the time of the Prophet. Which bid'ah means you substitute. You bring something, whether it be min bab istahsan, you think it's a good idea, you're doing a good thing or not. If it's in the issue of worship, the khalas is blameworthy. So the Prophet he mentioned this and every innovation is astray. Why? Because you're going to leave the religion. And it doesn't mean that because we are in, for example, 1437 now, almost 38 Hijri, or 2016, that that same Sunnah can't be applied today. Some people think, no, we're in the fast technology world, and that's all. No. We don't have to bring anything new. The deen is good. So Sheikh, he mentioned this. Uh, what time we have now? 15 minutes. 15 minutes after 6? No. Uh, we have five minutes to seven. Five minutes to seven. Tight. The adhan is 
Inshallah ta'ala, we'll stop here for questions. The next part of the poetry, the Sheikh is going to talk about belief in the companions and the belief in the Quran. So inshallah ta'ala, any questions we'll take for this part of the segment. Wa sallallahu wa sallam baraka ala rasulid kareem. Wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam taslim al kathir. And we can stop for a bathroom and refreshments or whatever like this. Any questions? Very philosophical discussion is going on here, really. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. a little above the common man. So, a very, a very, a lot, a lot of what? Philosophical. Philosophical. Philosophy. Oh yeah, yeah. Philosophy. Going on in in the in the talk or in yeah. the world. In, in the talk. Very important. Very good. Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay. You know, Allah has given the psychology in the Quran, you see, but when you talk about the, the, the world we live in and the back then, then yeah, there's a lot of discussion, alhamdulillah. But as we were talking about today, you know, if we go, return back to yani, our roots as Muslims, which our roots is the Quran, the Sunnah, nothing is unbearable, nothing is impossible. If people say, why well, we don't have like any yani, domination as Muslims, we are like uh, struggling and weak and we don't have this and that and we need hospitals and this. Yeah, well, like, we don't have anything because of we, we left Quran and Sunnah. Mm -hmm. Those people had I mean, no technology. Allah gave them the whole world. Right. Now we have all of the technology and we have nothing. You do the math. Right. SubhanAllah. So uh, the, the point you are raising is really very yeah. difficult. Uh, then you are under stress, under torture. Yeah. Holding on to your iman is not an easy job. Yeah, yeah. And, but I sometimes wonder, most of the scholars in the history, yeah. they have faced this kind of uh, persecution. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's really something very disturbing. Yeah. And we even see today yeah. uh, going around us. Yes. Yes. Yes, unfortunately. It's the hearts of the people, but Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made those people a sign for us to know that no matter, no matter what in the end, what Allah promised will go on. The religion will go on and people have to make good choices and they have to know that there's bad and evil. And settling, sometime is a mercy from Allah and He knows what's in the heart so you may be forgiven. But and the settling is not always the answer. And these kind of stories are made for us to become strong and fortified. And Allah knows best. Oh, Shaykh, I have a question. Um, yes. Like the prisons that you talked about, it's like, was he locked up in a real prison? Yeah, real prison. A real prison? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prison's been around a long time. Guess what, though? There was no lifting weights. Like in the state prison, federal prison here. No basketball, no lifting um, yeah. weights, no snacks, no three meals, nice place to live. Forget that. No TV. Hardcore jail. And he stayed in there until he died. Yeah, he was in jail several times. Who was that? He got in Sheikh Hassan take me. He leave, come back in, and they, they kept getting him. Because the thing is, you, you, you figure that. The psychology of some of these people, if they kill a man, that great people are going to wage war out of emotion and love and loss. But if they imprison him, the people will be afraid and yeah, they, they won't be able to get to him. And not only will their wishes come true, those opposition, but the people will lose hope. But Ibn Qayyim al Josia, which is one of his contemporaries and students, Ibn Qayyim, he said that when they will go to the prison to see Sheikh Islam Taymiyyah, they will be sad. If we flip today, we we'll go to visit someone in the prison, you're happy before you get to the prison because you have your freedom, you have your liberties, you have different things. Maybe when you get to the prison, you see him, you hear about him. You see the other people locked up, you leave, you're depressed. Ibn Qayyim al said it was the opposite for them. They were depressed before they went to visit the prisoner who was Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. When they left him, they were full of iman and pumped up and happy because the benefit he would share with them from the prison. Increasing them in their iman. You see? 
So Wallahi is all about learning and knowing the religion in whatever time you're in and being sure about that religion. And this is one of the reasons we want to bring this type of classical work because it's a benefit really in the time where we have ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Takfir, this one is a Kafir, and this and that, and all of the stuff around us while the belief of the Muslims is becoming weaker and weaker. Reliance on Allah is almost little to next to none. So these things are fortifications, you know, and it shows you, you know, the challenges that they had, the things that they did, and we can look at the challenges we have and copy that blueprint, which is following the way of Allah and His Messenger, so sell them with true conviction. And we will be, inshallah, ta'ala, as Allah promised us, wa adallahi haq, Allah's promise is true, will be triumphant. Will be triumphant. Even though some people are still going to be tested. But for the believer, his test is sweet. So if we have a test that's not sweet, then is it the religion we re examine, or is it us that we re examine? We have to re examine us. Hey. Now. Nah. I want you to elaborate on the, the alaqa if, if there is between Taymiyyah and, and Sufiya, and you mentioned Sufiya. So, the, and also the, the Lamiya, some, some of the Abiyat have some Sufi overtones. Uh, that some themes that we see in Sufi poetry. Such as? Sometimes, like for example, in this one, I can think of one because I have in my mind here the Lamia here. No, no, mm -hmm. like, like oh, just his poetry period. I'm thinking of this. Uh, actually, he's a Sufi uh, from Al Jazair. Yeah, and there was some, uh, you know, Jamaat. Uh, it's a Sufi group in, in Morocco hey, well. that used to, to sometimes, any, in, in their dhikr session, they would sing some of the, 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 the lines that he, I mean, some, some of his Sufi poetry. Shavlan Timi. I just want to know. Yani, if, if and who, who exactly persecuted him? Hey, let's take uh, inshallah piece by piece before the adhan as much as we can. Yani barakallahu fikum. Yani aslan al kalima wa ibara sufiya. Yani yatgayr. Kama kul shay yatgayr. It has changed the term sufiya from that time to now. Just as most things have changed, that has changed. And normally with people, yani, when they talk about the origin of this word, Sufiya, yani, ihsan, tawadir, yani, to do as much as you can, to go out of your way to help somebody, to do as many good deeds up and above, to be humble. Yani, but, barakallahu yani, fikum, they, they, yani, they attach to this now, aqaida to shirkiya issues of shirk yani, with, with, with praising the one who was a saint and, and different dua to the amwat, the deceased and this is clearly shirk yani. so when you talk about some statements of Sufiya some people they take like this famous poetry that the Arabs have yani, kullu yani, da'anuhu kana ma'alayla yani, the poetry they have everyone claims he was with Layla because Layla was a hot piece. He was like, my, you know, so everybody want to claim, I was with Layla last night. But Layla don't claim any of them. <laughs> this is a famous line of poetry for the Arabs. You guys know this. So and everybody wants to claim she was not Taymiyyah because he was in the era of all of those people. But the reality, he doesn't have Sufi poetry. And this is a point that the, uh, Allah, 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 Aziz Ali Sheikh, he mentioned. For the students, they have to know how to read the books of Sheikh al-Islam Taymiyyah. Because a lot of times, the student will read something and say just what you said. His, his Sufi uh, line of poetry or his Sufi statement. But what happens, Sheikh al-Islam Taymiyyah doesn't have, of course, Sufi statements and, and Sufi poetry. Because he wouldn't be mahaqqaq. And he wouldn't be 
someone that after his death, everybody from the people of Sunnah take from his and go back to his works. But what he does, he will quote those people first. So that you will know that person's statement, then expound and refute. So if you don't read the entire paragraph or the entire yani, parable, you would think, oh, see, look, Sheikh Islam Timmy is saying this. How the Shubahat? This is a misconception. Hakada. Secondly, if you talk about the works of Ibn Qayyim and Josiah, then it's known like Abdul Qadir Jilani. وَكَذَلِكْ مَعْدَىٰ الْآخِرِينَ كَانُوا Sufiya, That they were Sufi. And then they left that by the teachings, by the permission of Allah, and they became from Ahlul Sunnah. So some of the old writers of Nukayyim al may have Sufi yani, writings, but not Shifu Islam Timiyah. وَمَنْ يَدَّعِ هَذَا فَهِذَا بُدْلَىٰهِ But what claims that this is clearly false. Secondly, yani Allah... The imprisonment, Allah most and like we share today, people that claim Islam, but Allah, yani, mm. they have bad hearts and they, they only want, yani, uh, what's this, um, uh, uh, they only want control, yani, Allah, Allah. they only want, yani, hajama wa riasa. You see what I'm saying? So this is what we were dealing with during that time of Sheikh Islam Taymi. And the Sufiya were heavily concentrated in those areas, Syria and Jordan and Egypt, Sham, you know. And it came from Iraq. So this was a big thing. And there's no coincidence in those regions today, they are the majority. Look at the Syrian conflict now. Tell me it doesn't relate and reflect these issues we're talking about. You just kill people because they say we don't believe in that, we believe in Sunnah. Allah most high. The blood is that inexpensive. Mm. To the point you will yeah, I need politically group up with this one and this one from other countries, so much so the disbelievers. Allah most high. So this is what we know from the reality. So it doesn't have yeah, any Sufi aqa'id, wala Sufi yani shi'ra, wala shaybin Sufi, bel, bayyan, wa radda ali. But he clarified and he yani, sanitized yani, the works of the book and the sunnah from these different groups. I put a question related to the Sufis, although there's only one minute left. Two minutes, quickly. And then, Abdul Rahman, if you could pause this, I'll tell you how, inshallah. This scholar of Sufi, if the Sufi is not Sufi, then he cannot are the good Muslims. They do not do shirk. They do not commit shirk. But they follow Islam truly. Because uh, one understanding of the Sufis is that they do not involve in politics. They stay away, worship someplace, and just pray and make recitation, make drood, and etc., etc. And uh, this is common, particularly in subcontinent in India and Pakistan. That uh, these guys, but what they do wrong, they go to these uh, Shareens, yeah. the, yeah. the uh, saint, and then do all God from the yeah. which is yeah. not. My question is, if they follow the real Islam, yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his prophet is teaching, no. and they are doing some of the gathering where they are reciting, it may not be traditional, but not going against Islam, do you think it's okay? The first <laughs> thing, yeah. my, my, uh, what I see is that generally, a uh, major difference between the Sufis uh, overall even, uh, is that these guys do not involve or confront the uh, rulers, whereas the other people... Uh, Some from amongst them, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, to ask you quickly, because we only have like a minute and a half, this is not all it's law. This is not all the way across the board. They don't deal in politics. As again, you see, this was political with Sheikh Islam Taymi. And they're, ahead of them were yani, Tatar and the Sufi were, were together. And yani barakalofikum, we find in the yani history, yani in the Sudan and in, in the different places that they they yani, they politically imprison Ahlul Sunnah and yani the higher up. So they are involved in politics, but from a different angle, not where they're going to make takfir against the government or the other government or to make a Muslim a disbeliever because he does a sin, just the okay to kill. They're not going to go that far. But they are involved in politics to some degree. Another thing is that, um, yes, you know, we have to remember, 
everyone is going to say they follow the Quran and we follow the Sunnah. As this is part of the Shahada. No one can say, La ilaha illallah, wa la la yani al-sadiqu bi Muhammad. He's a kafir, he's a disbeliever. I have to accept Muhammad. But when you talk about the key thing, is returning back to the companions. What the companions said about these issues, because these are the ones that the Prophet said, Ma ana alayhi yom washabi. What I'm on today, when I die, stay upon that. Wa ma ana mifli alayhi washabi. And those who are like me, my companions. This doesn't mean that, 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 that they won't make mistakes or they won't have conflict, but when it comes to knowing the religious uh, articles, no one knows it better. So when we talk about following Quran and Sunnah, we always have to use the clause and go back to and the way of the companions. And this is one of the main differences. Many today that will say, and they, they, they have no need to know what Abdullah ibn Abbas said. No need to know what Ibn uh, uh, Mas'ud said. Rather, they will say, Al ayat mafhum. The ayat is clear. I don't need interpretation. But Allah said, Yani, Wala yashakum bi rasulim ba'di ma tabayyana lahu al huda wa tabay ghayb al sabili mu'mineen. And those who fall away other than the Sahaba after he mentioned the Prophet. So, this is one of the main yani, points against all of them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify our ranks. Amin. Exactly. Okay. You see a record button? Yes. Hit that record button. It should pause it. It's a little bit. It says record at the top. It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Yeah. There is off and on. It's still no, 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 no. Still recording. Mm-hmm, still recording. Okay, hold We'll stop and we'll stop. This is another awesome. It goes to the YouTube and then.